Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to have a look at the Quick Parts Gallery and Fields, Document Properties and Auto Text. So all of those you access from the Insert tab on the ribbon and on the right hand side you have the Quick Parts button. So first of all, the Auto Text option. So these are Auto Texts that I've already created. Basically what you do with that, you save whatever you want to be in your auto text gallery and then you can access them either with a keyword or by just doing this click on that's the default chart coming in drop that down if I type the word intro that's the keyword just went a bit fast there press enter that drops a paragraph in I'll just zoom this down so these are all things that I've added to the quick parts gallery and the auto text part of that gallery. Now, how do you do that? So if I, let's say I want this line of text, all I do is go onto the insert tab to quick parts and then save selection to the quick parts gallery. And then you've got the option of giving it a name. So I'll just call this one test. It's best to give it a, a name that's more than four characters. Otherwise you have to use a key command and the key command to use would be F3. Um, quick parts it's going into but I want it to go into auto text and then you've got the option of creating categories so if I create a new category I'll just call this training as you get a bit, bit more advanced in word you can use different categories so I'll put that into training option there if you want to put a description of what this is I don't and then you can just click OK to that now if I just do control A and delete all of these and then type the word test you get the little tip coming up which means I can just press enter and it will just drop that that line of text on the screen so that's basically how you save things into the auto text gallery that one and then these are ones I've already I've already saved before and you can see there's quite a few in there now below that you've got this other option that says document property and these are the document properties for this blank document which I've not really well I've not saved it at the moment so you can insert what are called fields really so if I just put company in there you see it's already got the company details there now that information is coming from the properties if I go to the file tab and select info you, these are the properties and if I click on show all properties you can see all properties and there's a company coming up it's easy that's where that is so I could type it there as well or I could just insert a blank one and type it in there so title or comments if I go back and just insert one of those so if I go back and then say document property let's go for comments uh, I'll just call this testing so you can see how that sits so that now is part of the properties so if I go back to info expand them all and then comments testing is there so that's what these properties are they sit here but you can insert this information inside a document wherever you want and you can make the document quite dynamic by doing that if I go back again and just have a quick look at a couple of other things in there you've got all of these are preloaded but you have the option of creating extra ones so that's what I want to do go back into file info click on properties these actual properties at the top and it gives you this option advanced properties so you can now basically create your own so these are just things that you've got already but this is where I want to be custom and then you can just select one of these um, I'll just go for department and then you've got to give it a default value so I'll just say sales and then you can add it and you can see I've already added check by and done that one as well that's got a default value of zero, but I'm going to change that to Saxton and then OK to that. So now they don't sit there. Even when I expand that, I can't see those, but you've created them and then you can use them. So if I go back to the doc, uh, document itself, just come out of this one. When I go quick parts, document properties, they're not there either. Where you've got to get this information from now is through the field option. If I go to field and then you've got all these options here, but 
I've already selected this onto document information what you have to do is click on doc property and then you're looking for department in this case so there's check by let's do the one I did and then you okay that and then it drops the department in there and then you've you've got that option so that was the document properties now fields in general there's quite a lot of fields that you can insert into a into a word document not just what I've been showing you there simple ones though if I go for um, numbering page numbering you've got page and then the different styles of page section if there's sections and section pages I'll just insert a page just so it's sitting there so you can see it okay I didn't want to do it in the middle of that though let's come down here so quick pass field page one two three okay and then that sits there and normally we put that in the footer and maybe save your own quick pass element so fields there's quite a lot of information in fields not just numbering you've got date and time put the date and time in um, I'll put that one in okay and so on and so on so it's something to have a look at and look through to see whether there's anything in here that's of use to your document but the last thing in this list is the building blocks organizer this is all the different types of building blocks that you have in the quick parts gallery so there's quite a lot of information here if I click on the gallery option you can sort by different galleries so there's the auto text entries that I've done and you can you can see them as you click down there and what category they're in if you go down so that's the one I did there test training different category so you could sort by category as well or gallery and then you go through them all so cover pages these are all the pages that you can create a document title page with I just insert that one let's have a look at that one so what it does it just inserts a cover page on the front of your document so there's the bits I've been messing about with which I'll just get rid of just get rid of those so that's a cover page and it's got some document information there you go we type up the title in there so it's easy title and it's got the year up there so you can select the year 2022 and it's got another box down at the bottom there let's pull this information through already author company and today's date get into the bottom there field and let's go for um, or and then I want file name so you've got file name and then you've got the path option there so this sometimes you want to go to the bottom there so let's see what that looks like so I've saved the file now as IT docs so that's great I just click on that and just reduce I'm using control and square bracket to reduce that font a bit now the problem with that is if I want to do a page numbering as well now so if I go um, if I want to insert a page number bottom of the page so I want to put it on the right so in my mind I'm just going to put that there over here but watch what happens it does go over there but it covers what I had already there in place it covers it it's like a strip of white paper that's gone all the way across there so I'm just going to do control Z to undo that what I tend to do is just tab across to where I want the number to go and then use the field option so if I go back to insert quick parts field and then numbering I can select page and number one two three and then I get the one in there so now it isn't covering that up and then what I can do after that is highlight this go back up to quick parts and save selection as footer Steve's footer actually Steve's footer and I want this to be in the quick parts gallery but in the footer element and category build that can all stay the same click OK to that now if I just get myself a new document and get into the footer area go on to insert you can give it a key command as well which I didn't do 
and I'll just go into the gallery and get into footers. Steve's footer. Insert. Now it's document three because I've not saved it. So if I just do control S, I'll just save that as document three. And then I'll need to update that with the F9 key to get it to put the path in there. But it's got the page number and I've achieved what I was trying to do. Now, I don't know why um, it does that when you insert the, the footers. I'm, ass I'm assuming the, the, the actual whole row has been saved in the quick parts gallery. And that's why it's like a piece of sellotape or paper going across the bottom of the screen. Go back, have a quick look. So that's all I want to look at, really. These these four main options, that's how you save into the quick part gallery, either auto text or into the gallery itself once you've created something. That's where you everything sits. And you can, in there, you can edit things. So you can delete them if you don't want them or edit. That will edit the contents and you do whatever you want. You can strip these right out and get rid of them all if you don't want them in there. Just put your own ones in there. But I don't recommend that. Close that one. And then fields, the field option gives you lots of extra options to put information in a document. So does document properties. That's all to do with document properties. But you can also create your own. And then I've already mentioned auto text. So hopefully... This little video is has been of use to you. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.